Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. With Kokomi coming up I have been highly excited for what she will bring, but I noticed a slight problem with her compared to every other Genshin character in existence. Yes, while rumors are going around about her kit and even a weird conspiracy that Mihoyo made her look weak to increase Raiden Shogun's sales, it's about none of that. Well, kinda. But I just want to say that I am a Kokomi wanter willing to throw out his wallet to become a Kokomi haver, so know that this comes from a fellow Kokomi fan. But as my boy Zach Aguilar has said, Let's dive in and take a look at her abilities. Oh, wow, Zach, <laughs> Zach, great Zach, job. That <laughs> caused me physical pain. Oh, I still love you, Zach. But regardless, it was during this very same live stream that they revealed this. But you should definitely note that Kokomi has a special trait. Her base crit rate is negative 100%, which means she oh. doesn't benefit from crit rate or crit damage. Huh. However, she does enjoy an increased healing bonus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So nice. you lose something, but you also gain something. In a game like Genshin Impact built around crit, this turned a lot of people away from her. You see, expecting her to be a 5 star Barbara, what's the point of throwing for her if even Barbara can crit and run a DPS build when Kokomi is now locked into the healing role? From my perspective, this isn't the issue. You see, I trust Mihoyo to balance this accordingly. Ha! I for one enjoy the fact that she doesn't crit. I love it when characters are different. I want to be able to switch to a character and enjoy a new experience, but something like removing crit and giving a healing bonus, they probably plan to break the current shield meta. As someone who unironically plays Barbara in co-op, I think this won't change much for me because I still enjoy the game. In fact, Kokomi might provide me with more options to this type of gameplay style that makes my teams wonder why they even brought me. But here's where the issue lies. Every artifact has substats, and being the positive, bright person I am, I see the value in even the bad substats. You see, while this HP substat isn't the best substat on my Raiden Shogun, it still provides her with something. It gives her HP which allows her to take more hits, even this defense on my Hutao's headpiece allows her to be a little bit tankier, even if I WANT her to get hurt so she can be below 50% so she can deal damage. But regardless, it's about the fact that it gives something, even if it's terrible. But Kokomi, the uncritting fish of the deep, demands zero crit on any of her artifacts, meaning any crit on her substats is completely wasted and doesn't even contribute in the slightest. Yeah, the extra HP on Ganyu's artifact allowed it to live on 1 HP that one time, but my crit on Kokomi's artifact ain't doing shit. Granted, this does mean we have a reason to farm new artifacts, and that gets me to my final point. Am I the only one who sacrificed any artifacts that didn't roll into crit? Yeah, I know I have maidens I could give to her, but any hydro set pieces I have, have crit on them, so I now have to re-farm that stupid icy cold domain all over again. But hey, at least I might finally finish that cryo set. Speaking of farming that domain, I will be farming that over on Twitch if you're interested. So you can let me know your thoughts on Kokomi in the comments below, or pop over and let's discuss it live. After you hit the like and subscribe of course. Cough cough. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye and good night.